This is a this is a continuation in solving inverse variation. Let's have this given example. If p varies inversely as q and p is 8 when q is 6, find q when p is 4. So, mula dito sa problem, ang hinahanap natin is yung volume Q. So, paano natin mahanap yung volume Q? Dadaanan natin yung prosesong dinaanan natin kanina. So, step number one is to translate the first statement into equation. So, yung unang variable na binanggit ay si P. Copy P and isolate it is equals to K. And we have the word inverse. So, magkakaroon tayo na over. Sino ini-inverse niya? Yung pangalawang quantity na binanggit which is si Q. At si Q ay nasa denominator. We're done with the first statement. Let's proceed to the second statement. So, second statement states that P is equals to 8 when Q is equals to 6. So, ang gamit po ng second statement is to find the value of the constant of variation. And to find the constant of variation, gagamitin natin yung equation na P is equals to K over Q. Now, we have the value of P, which is 8. And we have the value of Q, which is 6. And ang denominator ng whole number is 1. So, ang goal natin is mahanap yung value ni K and ito eliminate 6 here. So, ang gagawin natin, mako-cross multiplication tayo or cross product property. So, we have here 8 times 6 is equals to 1 times K is 8. K is equals to 8 times 6 is 48. And k is equals to 48 is what we call the constant of variation. Now, let's use the third statement to find the unknown variable q. What is q when p is 4? Mahanapin ng daw natin si q kung si p daw ay 4. So, let's use the equation p is equals to k over q. Do we have the value of p? Yes, that is 4. Do we have the value of k? Yes, yun yung, yun yung sinolve natin kanina, which is 48 all over q. Next, ang denominator ng whole number is 1. So, apply cross multiplication. So, we have here 4q is equals to 48. Now, we need to divide both sides by 4. Bakit k4 natin i-divide? Kasi siya yung kasama ni q. 4q divided by 4 is q. And 48 divided by 4 is 12. Therefore, when p is 4, q is equal to 12. Sub example number 2. If a varies inversely as the cube of b, Let's have this second example first. If r varies inversely as p and r is 9 when p is 6, what is the value of r when p is 3? Again, if r varies inversely as p and r is 9 when p is 6, what is the value of r when p is 3? So, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay si value ni r. But before that, we need to translate the first statement into equation. So, we have here R varies inversely as T. Ano ba yung unang variable na binanggit? That is R. Isolate natin si R is equals to K. And we have the word inversely. So, may over tayo. Sino ini-inverse niya? The second variable na binanggit which is si P. Kaya si P ay nasa denominator. Now, let's use the second statement. R is equals to 9 when P is equals to 6. So, anong gamit ng second statement? That is to use, that is to find the value of K. So, paano natin mahanap yung value ni K? Let's use the equation R is equals to K over T. We have the value of R, which is 9, is equals to K. And the value of T is 6. Ano ang denominator ng whole number? That is 1. So, ang goal natin, mahanap natin si K at ma eliminate natin si 6. So, we're going to apply cross product property. So, that is 9 times 6, which is equals to 1 times k is k. And 9 times 6 is 54. k is equals to 54 is what we call the constant of variation. 
Now, let's use the third statement. What is the value of R when T is 3? So, gagamitin natin yung equation kanina na R is equals to K over T. Do we have the value of R? Wala kasi po siya yung unknown. So, let's copy R is equals to. Do we have the value of K? Yes. Yun yung nasolve natin kanina. So, K is equals to 54. 54 over the value of T which is 3. And 54 divided by 3 is 18. So, R is equals to 18. So, kung si T daw ay 3, si R naman, R naman ay 18. Let's have the last example. If A varies inversely as the cube of B, and A is equals to 8, when B is 2, what is the value of B when A is equals to 16? So, ang hahanapin natin is yung value ni B, kung si A daw ay 16. So, bago yun, we need to have an equation. So, sa manggagaling yung equation, sa first statement natin, which is A varies inversely as the cube of B. So, ano yung unang variable na binanggit? That is A. So, isolate si A. A is equals to K. And we have the word inversely. So, over. Sino ini-inverse niya? Yung second state, second quantity or variable, which is B. But take note, si B po ay naka-cube. So, this is B cube. Now, let's use the second statement. A is equals to 8 when B is equals to Two. So, ano ang gamit ng second statement? Ang gamit ng second statement ay para mahanap natin si constant of variation or si k. So, gagamitin natin yung equation na a is equals to k over b cubed. Next, meron ba tayong value ni a? Yes, that is 8. Meron ba tayong value ni k? Wala, kasi po yun yung hinahanap natin. Meron ba tayong value ni b? Yes, that is 2. But take note, si B ay naka-cube, therefore si 2 ay dapat naka-cube. Let's simplify 2 cube. Pag in-expand natin si 2, si 2 cube, that is 2 times 2 times 2. Bakit may tatlong 2 tayo? Kasi ang exponent mo ay 3. So, si exponent mo ay 3, kaya tatlong beses mong imumultiply si 2 sa sarili. Tatlong beses mong imumultiply si 2 sa sarili niya. Kaya 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So, 8 is equals to k over 8. So, ano, ano ang denominator ng whole number? That is 1. Next, our goal is to find the value of k. So, para mahanap natin si k, kailangan natin matanggal yung denominator niya na 8. So, we're going to apply cross product property or cross multiplication property. So, we have here 8 times 8 is equals to 1 times k is k. And K is equals to 8 times 8 is 64. And K is equals to 64 is what we call the constant of variation. Now, what is the value of B when A is 16? Take note, ang hinahanap natin yung value ni B. Pero sa A daw ay 16. And... Ang gagamitin natin, kailangan natin equation. So, we're going to use this equation. A is equals to K over B cube. Now, do we have the value of A? Yes, that is 16. Is equals to K. Do we have the value of K? Yes, that is 64. All over B cube. So, again, Ang denominator ng whole number is 1. So, our goal is to find the value of B. So, kailangan ma-isolate natin si B cube or dapat mag-isa lang siya sa isang side ng equation. Let's apply cross product property. So, that is 16 times B cube is equals to 1 times 64 is equals to 64. Ngayon, we have here 16 B cube is equals to 64. We need to find the we need to isolate B cube alone. So, i-divide natin ngayon siya sa 16. Bakit sa 16? Kasi, siya po yung kasama ni B cube. So, 16 B cube divided by 16 is B cube. Is equals to 16 divided by, ah, uh, 64 divided by 
16 is equals to 4. But take note, B is naka-cube. So we need to cube, uh, apply cube root on both sides. So we have here B is equals to cube root of 4. So when A is 16, CB daw ay cube root of 4.